Good morning, YouTube. Reseller Mom here along with Tina. Good morning, Good Tina. Good morning. It's our Friday hangout time. It is. And today I thought we would go through and find, find things to get ungated with. So if you're watching live and you are really want to get ungated in something and you're having trouble finding that, go ahead and uh, post or comment or whatnot so that we can go ahead and, and do that. But I thought we'd start off with like Nike and Under Armour because those are probably the two big ones that I see. Uh, good morning, Nate. How are you? Uh, anyhow, so this prompted was prompted by some questions that I saw. I can't remember if it was in our group or other groups, but people just saying that they couldn't find ways to ungate. We'll probably do Starbucks too. And uh, I'll Real quick, we got to go through what the what it's called on how we're getting ungated, and we call it Amazon to Amazon ungating, right? You call it anything different? Nope, that's what I call it. But I do want to point out that somebody in our group did get their Amazon business account reverted back to just a personal Amazon Prime by Amazon. Did you see that posting yesterday? I did not. And yeah. did they state white because they didn't use it or what? No, they, they used it because they saw your videos on using okay. Amazon business uh, to mm -hmm. ungate in brands and using Amazon for invoices. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they got their business prime account to use it for that purpose. Okay. And um, Amazon ended up reverting them back to a regular personal prime account saying that they weren't a good fit. That was their reason. And so the person didn't request for that to happen. Amazon just did that to them. And they asked, had we ever heard of that happening to anybody before? No, because it's two separate accounts. It's like, they're not linked. They're two separate, wow. you have like two separate logins. Yeah. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go through that first. So. Let's say good morning to a couple people here. Good yeah, morning, Mar Mariana. Um, we've been asked to to bring you back. Somebody asked when you were going to come back and show so some tips and tricks. So we got to schedule that later. Just letting you know as I see your face. Tycoon, good morning, Cynthia. Thank you, and good morning to you, beautiful lady. And somebody from Facebook. If I pop over here, I might. I can never. I hate Facebook. I can just. I can't see your name, but maybe I will see it in a second here if it if I click. Yes, I see that. Oh, okay, that's what I, that purpose. There we go. All right. Now I can see your name. Shay, good morning. There we go. And uh, welcome, welcome. So the first thing I wanted to do was go over the difference because that's, I think everybody gets a little confused on that, or at least I was, because I didn't realize there was a business account versus a regular account. Yeah. And as I'm doing these videos, I want to kind of make sure everybody has the same base level of knowledge. So an Amazon account, this type of account where you see the yellow up here, it's black, this type of style is a regular Amazon buying, purchasing account that anybody can go get an Amazon account. Within that, you can have an, a regular Amazon account and you can have an Amazon Prime account, okay? So that's, that's just an Amazon, we call it an Amazon regular account. I like to search for products on the regular Amazon account because I'm just comfortable in it. But there, there's no other reason other than I'm comfortable in it. Uh, real quick, Mariana says, I got ungated using Amazon to Amazon on Starbucks, Lego, and Disney. Works every time. Yeah, I have not heard of it not working. So, right. All right. So this is Amazon. This is Amazon business. So I'm not logging into it, but it looks different. It's got the business blue. The front bar looks a little bit different. And if you go to this website, uh, you know, just type in Amazon business account and you'll find it down here. It will tell you frequently asked questions. And I thought this is awesome to go through mm -hmm. today before we start sourcing so that everybody knows what we're talking about. Amazon business free. Yes. A regular Amazon business account is free. No commitment, no minimum turnover. Okay. Then I like this bit. What is the difference between Amazon Prime and Prime Business? So you can have a regular Amazon business account, just like you can have a regular Amazon buying account, and then they could be Prime. If you're doing ungating and buying to flip, you do not want the Prime. That is against terms of service. You cannot buy 
on Amazon Business Prime and flip it to your Amazon seller account or they will get mad. <laughs> they will shut you down. It's just uh, not good. So I keep mine as like a regular one so that I don't ever make that mistake. And, and I'm not really good at like switching out. It's already confusing enough for me. So I just don't buy the Prime. I don't order enough to make it like I don't need the Prime for business. So um, let's see here. There was another thing. Oh, let's see here. Business Prime is a separate membership specifically for your business, yada, yada. Do I need a business ID number or corporation number? No, providing your unique provincial ID number or corporation number in general, or in addition to a general business info is help to helps verify the account. So, um, you know, I'm not going to go through cause I think it would auto populate if I start clicking on these things, but it's not that hard. If you have a regular business set up, you should be able to get a, an Amazon business account. And that's where you're going to make your purchase. When you are looking for these items to get you ungated, it's a very simple step. You're going to see what do you need to get ungated in? What are they asking for? Go to a particular product, see what Amazon's asking for. It's typically an invoice showing the purchase of 10 units. So that means if the item is a two pack, you're going to have to purchase 20 of them because that will be 10 units for that ASIN. And then once you do that purchase on your Amazon business account, it's not called an invoice. It's called a, I didn't look it up before I started here. It's called something. I always called, forget too. They don't call it an invoice and they don't call it a receipt either. No, it's not a receipt. It's like purchase summary or something. Yeah, I think that's it. I, you go to your orders. It's just like on your Amazon account. You go to your orders and it says, you know, view your order details, something like that. And that's what you are going to um to get down. Who and is real quickly, I do want to mention also when you have Amazon business, you mm -hmm. can put in your um resale ta tax, you know, exempt number yep. and get your items um free of tax. And I have to admit, the first two years I had Amazon business, I did not have that information in there and was just gladly paying them tax. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm guilty of that too. I did that for a lot of stores that I paid double tax on. And now I'm getting, I'm getting better at, at squeezing that because I just have, I have felt the squeeze. I mean, Tina and I, if you're feeling the squeeze, it's, it's for real. My husband was talking about the um, inflation and the consumer index has gone up so much and fees. I was looking at things this morning. I went outsourcing. There's a couple good bolos out there right now. And, uh, looked at some other toys and the price was five and they were going for 15, but really the fees were like seven, eight bucks. And I'm going, what the heck? That used to be, you know, four or five and, and be a good buy. And it's just ridiculous. Good morning, Bertie. Good morning, William. Good morning to middleman and Tamara. Welcome. Welcome. And if you are wanting us to help find a particular product, go ahead and, and shout it out in the chat. And we will do that, but we'll just start yeah. with with Nike and walk through the process here. Let's see, I gotta add the stream. Go to, like a lot of people for Nike is usually socks, or I'll type yeah. it Nike and and ask Amazon to sort it from the lowest costing item. <laughs> yep. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So here's some we're gonna go through and just show you how we sort how we how we get to what we need to get to in a, maybe a quicker method than uh than what you're trying because if you don't know how to search it i mean i watched people source at kohl's for years before i sat down i'm like i'm gonna figure this out and learned how to do it so we've got starbucks and crayola sure thing we will do those next yankee candles i don't think you can i but you know that'll be a fun one to look up yeah Yep, the law of thirds used to work. Buy five, sell for fifteen. Now you have to push it to eighteen twenty, which can be super hard to for customers to accept. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, there sometimes is a way to because I'm not logged in. I'm gonna click this free shipping shipped by Amazon. Uh, it's something to narrow it down so that I'm just getting Amazon, and yeah. then over here in the featured, I'm gonna go low to high. 
Yeah. And that's an important thing. I want to back up and just reiterate what Lucy said is you want it to be sold by Amazon. You need Amazon to be the seller of it, not another third party seller. Right. It's taking forever for things to load. Look at that. Goodness. My computer is, I had the internet go out yesterday. I've had so many technical issues. Those shorts are cracking me up because it's like, it's not like the shorts just laying there. You can see that there had been a body in there. <laughs> Go away the body. You just get the butt. All right. For whatever reason, this is this is terrible. I'm gonna unclick this and try. Still low to high. Why is it the lowest forty eight dollars? That's yeah, not something's right. not right. Where are our socks? Dang it! A lanyard? Something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do a hair band. Hair bands are usually pretty. Um. Headband. You're looking for a cheap item. Clearly not shoes. I'm looking for like a five, six dollar item. See, now these are, you know, these were definitely cheaper. Why didn't they show up? That is so bizarro. So 11 is not too bad. I'm going to see if we can, did it go low to high again? No. You know, I would spend a hundred bucks to get ungated in Nike. So, you know, even if it isn't a, a 10 or $11 headband. Yeah. And, and the second step to this, if you wanted to do it, because I'm doing it with the idea that you, you, it's going to be a wash, like you're paying for the ungating. But there are items out there that you could probably ungate with and break even by reselling or make some money back or maybe possibly, yeah. yeah, maybe even some profit. Now, is oh. East Bay not working for some people anymore? I don't know. I haven't tried East Bay in a while, but that East Bay used to work. East Bay is great for getting Nike and they usually always had socks. Same for Adidas or any of the other brands. Yeah. I just find that this is easier and yes. Amazon can't bitch about it. I mean, to be honest, yeah, they, they can't say that their invoice is fake and that it's not real products because you bought it from them. Uh, we've got a request for Burt's Bees. No problem. And Mariana, can we do a video on Kohl's? Yeah, I can do that. I find more items come up when I open a new profile with Chrome and sign in my regular Amazon copy and paste over. It can hide things. Huh. BSN Sports. I've never heard of BSN Sports, but let's look at Nike and then I'll go down the list. So this one is $11. This one is, what do we got? $8 and 21 cents. And we've got $9. So we'll do the $8 one here. What I'm looking for, yeah, it's like things aren't loading because I signed out. Where's my, see all buying options. There we go. We want to have it from Amazon. Sold by her. What I'm looking at is the store name. So this is leaving the mark. This is that, you know. I'm not seeing anybody, I'm not seeing Amazon on here. You have to buy it from Amazon. You cannot buy it from third party store XYZ and, and have that work. Yeah. So I think your first method is showing the cheapest Nike items that Amazon currently has. It looks like, and it looks like their cheapest items they have are maybe that $40 item, but that's right now. I mean, they're going to have other things come in stock. So that just says shipping by Amazon. Okay. Go back. It's going to take a minute, but it shouldn't take you too long. I mean, really, I've, I've seen some people that are posing like, oh, I spent six hours looking. Okay, then you need to refine your looking skills because it shouldn't take you six hours to find something. It should take you, you know, I think the most I've ever spent is maybe 20 minutes. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta look and go, look and go. We'll try this headband. We'll try that headband. There we go. See, I'm used to this popping up. This is by Varsity Lane. Looks like nope. Nope. Do we, can you read that comment? from Sam. Um, can I've you see them? No, I can't see them unless I exit out of the screen I'm in, but I'm going, I'll exit oh. out and I will see that. Sam says, do we have to put our Amazon store name, company name as shipping to address to submit to Amazon for ungating? 
I've heard um, yes and I've heard no. It doesn't hurt to have it match up. I like to have all my things match up. I just feel like you you have less road bumps that way. I don't know. I, what do you what have you heard? Yeah, as I feel like if it's e your store name or or um, the 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 name that you use with Amazon. So if it's your personal name um, and or your LLC name, I think either one of those are acceptable. You certainly don't want it. Um, the name to be somebody else in your household. You want it to be a name associated to your account, whether it be uh, your DBA, you personally, who, whoever signed up with Amazon. And I believe the address should match the address associated with your Amazon selling account. Um, because I think that just looks a bit suspicious if you're sending it to say a prep center in the hopes that maybe you'll get approved. I, I, that's my recommendation. And Sheila is giving you an ASIN, I believe, for Nike. If you want to type in the number. Oh, yep. Hold on. <laughs> that clicking wasn't good. Oh, thank you. Let me just go over to here so I don't lose that. Oh, Sheila's saying no. Okay, delete your comment, Sheila. Do you know how to do that? Um. I just see show or a star is all I can see. Um, hold on. I think Sheila, I don't know if I can delete it. Let me see. And, and somebody uh, commented that they wanted to let us know that they have gotten a few items ungated from Kohl's. So I'm surprised that they take a Kohl's, um, are you, and I'm, what I'm curious is, are you using a store receipt or are you using your email receipt from an online order? I've never um, heard of anyone getting ungated with Kohl's, uh, but if that is going to work, that's fantastic. I've never, I've never, I have heard it, but I have never done it. And then somebody um, said, Obviously not for Nike, but they were wondering um, if you would buy from Amazon Fresh, would that work too? Um, I would think so because, I mean, you're still buying it directly from Amazon. And, you know, if it's a food item, like, you know, not milk, right? <laughs> not, what do you call that, perishable groceries? Yeah, I, I think that would work. Somebody gave you an ASIN that you can try. Um, yes. Facebook. You've already seen that one. Uh, it's on the, it's on there. You can come back onto the screen okay. if you want. Uh, I that I'm currently trying to finish reading the things in case there's anything we missed. I, I've got it. Good life says, can we use the same email address for Amazon business that we use for our Amazon seller central? Um, I don't see, I don't know. I know I use two different emails. I have my buying account, and, and my selling account associated with one, and I have my business account associated with another. But that would be easy to call and Google and figure out. But we have we have a winner here for for shoes. Okay, great. What I'm looking for, and you guys will have to search more if you want to do this. But I want to move on to some of the other items. You want to have the ability to order ten, and you want them to come from Amazon. Ships from Amazon, sold by Amazon. Somebody said you can link them together. So thanks. Thanks for that. Now, what were, I got to go scroll up, peeps. Somebody had said Starbucks, right? Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks was one. Crayola was Crayola. one. I'm just going off of memory. But I'll yes. scroll back up and tell you. I scrolled up to. And Crayola. Starbucks, I used a, an office. It was officesupply.com. And I bought Starbucks pumps. Uh, they no mm -hmm. longer sell them. And I've checked recently for them because they actually used to be a seller and I used to sell them. I, last year I was selling lots of them and I used them for ungating. Um, I think everyone kind of got on to that. But if you go to different office supply websites and officesupply.com is one of them, they sell Starbucks coffee that you can use to get ungated. But it wasn't as cheap as those pumps. So Starbucks pumps were $4.99. So it was right. such a great one to use yeah an office office supply will work i have some ungating websites down below if you are really wanting to 
to look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. FBA Poppy, did you get an invoice in the box? Um, you get an order receipt. Okay. What do you do if the ASIN is not available for adding to your inventory? You find a different ASIN. You, you, you have to match up. So once you find that flip-flop or whatnot, then you're going to go and you're going to try and add it and you're going to see the apply button and you're going to make sure that apply button, what you're going to get will satisfy that apply button. But we can't, we can't do that because of privacy things here going on. But we're going to move on to Crayolas. All right. Did we get sorted by... The sort is just not working. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a lot of Amazon issues in life this week. <sighs> oh, there we go. Sold by Amazon. I think that will be better. Colors of the world, FYI, that is at the Dollar Tree. And there's a lot of bundles that, that have colors of the world in there. So right away, we've got this. You can get 10, cost you $1.79 each. So less than a $20 ungate. I will put that ASIN for Crayola in the comments. Crayola. Then when you're go. ready, I'll give you the next um item that somebody asked for. I got Starbucks. Is it Starbucks? Oh, okay. Starbucks. Yeah. I wrote, I wrote down Starbucks, Crayola, Yankee, and Burt's. Let yes. me know which ones I missed. No, you didn't. The only thing was a BSN sports, which I'm not, that sounds more like a store than a brand. And possibly it was a store that someone was suggesting for Nike. Maybe if uh, that person can clarify, that would be awesome. I have to load up. So we can look at the other product real quick while that's loading. This one would also work. This is $1.29, slightly cheaper. So I will add that one. And this hey, one. I'm waiting, you all. <laughs> See and how this one. Great time. Oh. I'm so sorry, Lucy. Uh -huh. I was say it's a great time for ungating because, you know, Q4 is going to be around the corner. So any brands that you feel like you're missing out on or, you know, you missed out on now is really such a great time to work on your ungating. Yeah. Be ready because you don't want to try and do this in the fall. It'll be terrible. Uh, so this one's only got four. See order limit. You cannot put I, I don't know. I have never tried. It's kind of like switching up addresses and names and stuff. I have not tried having multiple purchases try to get an ungate. The, it, it's, it's another one of those road bumps that you really don't want to have road bumps when you do this. Okay, so we've got Starbucks. Let's see here. Probably best to get something that you like. I don't there goes the Starbucks pumps right there. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say sold by, see how my, my add on, this is DS something, DS Amazon, DS Lister. What the heck is it? DS Amazon Quick View is what I'm looking at here. If you're interested in that extension. See, I'd get these iced vanilla lattes and that's be what I'd be drinking that week. You can go and sell it though. I've, I've definitely sold uh, only one in stock. I've definitely resold these things back onto Amazon. And so my $10, $20 ungating is now only costing me half that much because I get a little bit of money back. There we go. Starbucks bottle pumps. Oh, nope. Never mind. Sold by point. I thought we had one. In stock one. Ugh. Yeah, FBA Pap is, oh, it's FBA Puppy. Hey, Puppy. Yep, it's true. They say if you, as long as you buy a can of the, the same item, it works. But yeah, the great thing with Starbucks is if you buy, if you drink Starbucks, I mean, you can buy the more expensive Starbucks product, especially mm -hmm. if it's something you already use. So somebody from Facebook, did you say this one from, can you see it when I pop it on the screen? I see, yeah, I, I, I okay. have it uh, smaller, but yes, I just saw that pop in. Okay. So and did you order? Oh, okay, yeah. For Adidas, I had to use three separate ASINs buying from Amazon because they had a limit of three per customer. Worked mm -hmm. just fine. That's great to know. 
just applied under one ASIN and it worked automatically too. Well, that's really great uh, tip. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, I think of it, so. So what I'm saying is, if it's all on the same order mm -hmm. summary, mm -hmm. you can use it as long as it tallies up to the ten that you're you're getting. But if you had to buy the same one three, four different times and have three, four different receipts, I don't yeah. think that is is what I would suggest doing. And then Tam Ross says, if I buy from that ASIN, is that the same ASIN I will use to get approval? And yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So what I would do is once I found the product, I would take that uh, ASIN over, you go to your add a product, see if, if that's the one that, you, you know, see if you have that apply button, click that apply button and see if it's going to work. Cause sometimes you get, you get like a transparency needed or some other junk. Most of the time it's going to be provide an invoice within the last 180 days um, with 10, 10 units shown purchased, etc. We've and got one is asking FBA Poppy if he, uh, he says, I only got the order summary on the back of the shipping label. Is that what you used? And uh, yes, you do use the order summary. I'm sure he will chime in. Um, I don't um, know about it being on the back of the shipping label that unless you're talking about like a invoice in your box, but it, you can also print that same thing out in your um, Amazon account. And yep. good morning, Carolyn. What is it? I have got to run and give my husband a mess, an urgent message that popped up on my phone. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Okie dokie. The online receipt is going to be in your orders and it's called like an order summary or something like that. I can't remember exactly. If somebody can can let us know what it's called exactly, that would be helpful. I was supposed to look that up before we started um, before we started the show and then I, I forgot because there was six other things going on and somebody at my back door. I'm like, what do you, some painter wants to know uh, where to go. People stop here all the time asking for directions and stuff. Uh, sorry about that. You know, my husband goes outside and always leaves his phone inside. And that's when it rings, which I heard. Of course. And then, of course, when they can't get a hold of him, then it's my phone. We've got urgent family things going on this week. So I, I sorry, I had to leave and take care of that. I guess that's the beauty of working at home, even if we are on a YouTube live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. She says, yes, go to orders, view invoice slash receipt. Make sure it states shipped as Amazon won't allow it if it's pending. So thank you. Thank you. And then Mariana says, in order to buy from Kohl's or Office Depot for ungating, you should have your company as the buyer yeah. or your person to get ungated. I do it through Kohl's. You can't do it with company. Kohl's is not reseller friendly. They aren't going to provide an invoice per se, and it will have to be your person. And as long as it's your name and your name is associated with your account, or if you had um, other people that are associated with your account, because you can have employee levels and other accesses. I, I want to say if it's one of their names to it, it could work. But this is again, like, unless if that's the only way you have to do it, do it to where there's less road bumps. I'm telling you. That's right. Keep it simple, stupid, right? <laughs> while it might work, the reps over there are so dumb. I spent like an hour on the phone with two different phone calls yesterday trying to get, I got an IP claim for Bath and Body Works and they're telling, I get a different answer every time I call and they can't be consistent. They don't know what's going on. They don't have access. They, there's just so many excuses over there. It's unbelievable. With Office Depot, I have a business account. So that is a, uh, you know, I would just use my Office Depot business account. Yeah. And there are a lot of office supply stores on the internet that you can search. I mean, you can just Google mm -hmm. office supply and they do have a lot of things like, you know, when you think office supply, so different kind of cleaning products, coffee, um, you know, cups, things that uh, corporations might buy from. And so you can use any other type of thing. It doesn't have to just be Starbucks. I doubt people are uh, restricted to sell Windex, but let's say you were, you know, they, they sell stuff like Windex at office supply stores. So, yeah. What was the other Starbucks location you said, officesupplies.com? 
Yes, yeah, that's who I have bought from in the past. And Marina and Carolyn and everybody that chimes in to help your fellow seller. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I see you. Yes. Okay, so Starbucks, there's one one thing for you. You know, I hope you like French roast. But again, we got an order of 10. We got. I like all the roasts. So do I. There isn't a roast I don't like. As long as there's caffeine in it, because I don't understand decaffeinated. Yep. That, you know, there's other things like the pumps or cups or this and that that you can probably look for. Think, you know, stock up on Christmas gifts, too. Everybody gets a Starbucks cup for Christmas. Yeah, everybody <laughs> likes Starbucks. All right. Our next brand that somebody wanted to know about was Yankee Candle. I have never tried Yankee Candles. All these other ones I've done. Yeah, I wonder several. if I can even sell Yankee Candle. I'm going to look on my phone right now. I can't. It might be one of those that's locked down because Yankee Candle does not like third-party sellers. But let's let's try it out because I love Yankee Candles. They're All the brands there. like me. I'm going to speak positive affirmations into my Amazon account. And all the brands like me. I need that positivity. It's been a crap-ass week. Yes, it has. It's a... Yes, I can sell Yankee Candle. Really? I, I don't think I can. I cannot oh even make this stuff up right now. I'll even do, look, here's a Yankee candle. It's, I think it's a like a car freshener. Is it showing? Oh, no. <laughs> I have the hardest time making my, my phone yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, it's so restricted across there. Speak okay. positive affirmations to your Amazon selling account. <laughs> I probably tried to get engaged for it a long time ago. I certainly did not uh, submit receipts. You know, sometimes Amazon has a wave of like, all of a sudden they let you engage for a lot of stuff for no reason. And I, I remember a few years ago, there was a day like that. And I was just going through a big long list and I spent three hours, I kid you not, three hours getting ungated in all kinds of brands and it was working. Nice. Ooh, okay. Girl, I'm going to try this one because here we go. We got a Yankee candle, $4.44, Bahama Breeze. I could smell Bahama Breeze for all the days. I'm going to put that in and then read Jackson's comment that I just put up. I'm going to add another brand somebody asked about, Ray Dillon. I'll put that here on my list. Okay, don't, don't read it. Oh, oh I see it here on my Someone's asking. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You're cracking me up. It's all right. I am? <laughs> yeah. Are you reading it or not? I Well, I just read it. They asked about Ray Dunn. And so I said, I'm going to write oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. Jackson on the screen. Okay. Jackson. Oh, I'm sorry. Jackson says, you can use Kohl's, but to do this, if your name is Bob Smith and your company is ABC Market, when entering your name, put first Bob Last name, Smith, ABC Market. Good tip, Jackson. Yep. Thank you. Thank Very you. Good. And then I put Rain Dunn on the list of things to do. And L Lana, good morning, Lana, says you sound like Abraham Hicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love listening to Abraham Hicks from time to time. Okay. So I will be trying this actually out later because... I really do want to get ungated in, in Yankee Candle. I see them all the time over at Big Lots. They are um, just really good to, to find bolos on out in the wild. We've got Victoria's Secret I will add in here. Victoria's Secret, I do know how to get ungated in that. I have a source for that. Um, and then they, I thought they had gone out of business, but then I found them again. And the name of that company is called American Jen, um, she somehow has a connection with Victoria's Secret. So she's one of those that sells like these grab bag, like box lots, but mm -hmm. works with you on getting ungated in Victoria's Secret. So it is American Jen. And I believe she has a, a Facebook um, group or Facebook page. But yeah, so that's not an Amazon. J E N group. or J G E N? American and G E. I mean J E N. I'm sorry, like short for Jennifer. Uh, can you find it? Uh, I sure will. I am. I am not seeing it. Okay, Burt's Bees. Moving on. Holy smokes, a penny! I bet you there's. Oh, and free shipping. Hold on. <laughs> 
I want to look at that one just because. Found at Burt's Bees for one penny. Yeah. <clears throat> look at this. Oh, maybe not. One penny. Oh, okay. With six dollars delivery. I knew there was a catch. I knew it was too good to be true. Now, Burt's Bees has said that they are, when I talked to them, I think two or three ASDs ago, they said that they were full up and they were not accepting any more limit three. They were not allowing any more third party sellers. And, uh, you know, I got on the waiting list, which was pretty much nothing to become a third party wholesaler with them. Did this open? Did I click right? But, oh, what's this? What's this? Ships and sold by Amazon. Can I order 10? Hallelujah. We got it. Okay. I just wait. I just want one time. <laughs> Don't sign me up. <laughs> 10 every month. That would be terrible. All right. $3.59. So it'll cost you less than 40 bucks. Burt's Bees Honey. That sounds really good. Oh, you found it. Awesome. Yeah. Burt's. I'm putting all our finds in the chat. So apologies if you're watching this on the replay and you're like, I don't, I don't, um, you know, you're having, you can't see it or whatnot. Then, uh, you know, you're just going to have to pause the screen and look up here and, and find the product. It shouldn't take you long. Jackson says, any idea how to get unindrated into Trader Joe's? They don't sell online. No, you have to do an auto ungate and you have to wait for your account to, to be sufficient. Most of Burt's Bees is considered meltable. Uh, this is RevSeller and I'd have to log in to check. But if you run RevSeller, it will tell you if it's meltable right there. If not, you can just check against the meltable list, which is really easy to do. Frontier Wholesale sells Burt's Bees 2 for ungating. Yep. Good idea. Bert, uh, Frontier will get you ungated in health and beauty, grocery category. Um, cinnamon is the cheapest grocery item to get there. I think it's 99 cents. If it's still 99 cents, it might have gone up. Helium 10 for extension allows you to browse brands and it will show if Amazon sells it. Good to know too. Very good. All right. So that was Burt's Bees. Let me cross that off. Did we ever hear back what VSN Sports was? I know we did okay. not. I'll, I'll actually open up my other tab and uh, look it up. Okay. I'll skip that and go on to um, Ray Dunn. I don't know if Ray Dunn is an Amazon one. That's another one that I am not sure on. Ray Dunn themselves will not sell to third-party sellers. I called them one day. I and I called and I asked them, I do know that I've had luck. This is a bolo for you. If you come across it, uh, TJ Maxx, you can buy online. And sometimes they sell the four pack of Raiden coffee mugs. And you can just split that four pack up and sell them individually. I've done that flip uh, many a times. Oh, good. He says, sorry, BSN Sports will ungate Nike. So yes. there you go. And they have other brands. I found the website and I just threw it in. Um, the chat for those that are interested in that website. Ooh. Uh, Carolyn says BSN sports used to be a source for Nike, but too many sellers canceled orders and they only sell to wholesalers now. Well, technically yeah. you can, you are a, a wholesale buyer if you have your reseller, but you know, I guess that depends on how many they're going to let you buy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, un unfortunately. Now, Ray Dunn, I can sell. I was, uh, I guess, auto and gated. Mm -hmm. um, I don't sell much of it, though, on Amazon. There we go. Hello. Who's going to ASD? Me. I'll be there for at least Sunday. I'll be there on Sunday, Monday, possibly Tuesday. We got to see. But yeah, we're going to plan on drinks after the show on Sunday at the Westgate, I believe. Right? Or am yeah. I okay to say that? Before, yeah. And for those that have been to ASD, there's really no good place to sit there and, and hang out. Uh, they do have their little food cafeteria. So we've met uh, at lunchtime with, with other sellers eating lunch. And that's always really fun. And we have some of our local people here, like Nate and Elizabeth, who I know are watching. Hello, we love you. 
and we've had lunch with them. And then after work, we are after work. It feels like work ASD. We go next door to the, the, there's a hotel right next door and they have a bar that you can sit at. Yeah. And, and at the bar, you, there's limited food. I wouldn't really suggest it, very much, but, um, you know, you could get a snack or food, but more importantly, you can get a beer or a glass of wine and we can put the tables together and just kind of chill and not, not be, um, a cute mug. Um, the middleman picker, I, I think you, that's what you must have meant earlier when you said you stepped away as far as does Amazon provide an invoice? Yes. It's not called invoice and it's not called a receipt. We've already said it a few times and I still always forget statement. It's something, but it's whatever paper that, that they give you or whatever their version of a receipt is in your Amazon business account, not business prime, but just business account you use that form of invoice that they give you um, and you have to buy it from Amazon as the seller. And uh, don't forget to put in your business um, tax exempt number in your Amazon business account that you will get and you can make that account for free. Just in case you, you missed that, I just wanted to kind of recap that since we said it at the beginning. Has Amazon ever sold redone? That's that's the question. I don't, yeah. I don't think that they have. Um, I feel like most people that sell redone are third party sellers. I, I've never mm -hmm. seen even redone on their listings, and you can always tell by the photos. Um, and generally found at TJ Maxx, Sierra is another store that I have found uh, redone at. So possibly Sierra would. Uh, suit as an invoice possibly i i've never tried that um but it's worth a try i've sierra will on gate so okay. i've heard sierra okay, well, and sierra is it sierra is connected with ross well they're ross? actually affiliated with tj maxx i believe is it tj maxx okay they mm -hmm. are but they're not they <laughs> They have an online store, although TJ Maxx does too, but I believe Sierra uh, proves more of um, like, like it, I think the receipt would prove more like a, of an invoice than TJ Maxx would. Yes. So now, now this is Tina and I have not, have not um, verified this, but other people have said that Sierra, a purchase from Sierra will get ungated. What you will have to do is find your item over here, and I've sorted it from lowest to highest, and then find the item on Amazon. So we've got an on the lake thing, uh, 12 ounce, I'll put in right done at the end. Mega pint, that's what I need today. So you're gonna have to go through, oh, Jesus Christ. Get out of here. I'm like that up. Um, Jackson, you said that you haven't got your tax certificate yet. And what information do you need to provide? Your tax certificate just allows you to, you know, pay or, or buy your items from you, with your Amazon business account and not pay taxes. It's not going to prevent you from getting ungated. Um, so you really don't need to provide anything, you know, other than yourself. <laughs> to get your Amazon business account. But obviously you're going to want, like we've said before, to have this item shipped to you with the same name and address that you're using in your Amazon selling account. All right. So I'm going to give you this one for Ray Dunn. What, what I found over here was it's going for $5 over on Sierra and it's over here. So hopefully that is a Ray Dunn that that will get you unlocked for Ray Dunn. I too got auto ungated back in the day with it. This one is actually a bolo. However, the rank is a little on the high side, especially if we're in the middle of summer. So, you know, again, big Christmas presents, mm -hmm. but uh, for $5, you know, a $50 purchase. If you sold a couple, used a couple, whatever, it's, it's not a huge, huge money commitment. What I hate seeing is people paying three, four hundred dollars to get ungated in one thing and they buy this product. And now they've got 10 tennis shoes they can't use and it didn't work and they're out five hundred dollars or whatever. I've, I've heard of a lot of high, high prices of people paying things. Yeah. 
Right. Anybody says try Sierra for um, on gating and it was successful for you, please let us know and let us know in our Facebook group. Jackson says, I meant, what do you need to provide the county to get the tax certificate? It's oh, different for each state. Yes. Yeah. So whatever state you live in, you're going to want to go to your state's um county or however your state is where, where you get that at uh, a lot of times like uh, it's like whatever your state is dot org um it's not too hard to to find that by a google search mm -mm. no in my state i did it so long ago i don't remember i think i needed an ein i'm i'm registered in seattle or washington and vegas and they were different processes but about the same so you'll have to go there um, and, and see what your state needs. Cynthia, thank you for sharing. I was trying Sierra for getting ungated in Adidas Skechers Crocs, no problem, and can get it fast. Well, good. good That's good to know. Excellent. So then that means, uh, like what Cynthia is saying is that Sierra does work for ungating. If you maybe find Nike or any of these other brands cheaper at Sierra than Amazon, I mean, always go the cheaper route. <laughs> well, uh, okay. So, so, or the more profitable route. Yeah. I, I weigh that one out because I know with Amazon to Amazon, I'm pretty much guaranteed an ungate. With Sierra, I'm a little bit more hesitant because it's not as as proven as an Amazon. So you gotta you gotta weigh that one out yourself. I mean, it could be could be good, could be bad. Is this Victoria Secrets? Yeah. So I'll be darned. So Victoria's Secrets is sold on Amazon by Amazon. These refreshing sheet masks. I need this too. I need the pint glass. I need a refreshing sheet mask. <laughs> and it's four dollars and seventy three cents. So it's not a great thing with that good. sheet mask. I mean, that could be a double thing, not only for Victoria's Secret, but also for if you need it for. I don't know if that would count as a topical or under beauty. Um, so that could maybe be a double. You might get two for one with something like that. Yeah, it's under beauty. So if you need beauty and Victoria's Secrets, boom, double whammo for 50 bucks. Um, here is a very good question um, and comment. Some mm -hmm. of these brands that we're discussing give IP claims from time to time. Are we not concerned with this? Absolutely. And very, very valid point. So um, for instance, I can share a story, which, which yes, I am definitely concerned about this. I did get ungated in um, Kong, the dog toy. And Kong is, is notorious for filing, you know, claims against you. I got ungated not doing an Amazon to Amazon flip, but with a legitimate wholesaler. And even that wholesaler uh, said they cannot sell to me anymore because I sell on Amazon. They are told by Kong not to sell to Amazon sellers. So I didn't get in trouble, but I did get the two Boris letters. And so I don't uh, sell Kong and I stay away from Kong. So yes, in, in this case, if you know for sure that um, like say Burt's Bees, that they will come after you, um, and you're seeing that these Burt B listings don't have a lot of other sellers, then yes, absolutely be concerned or make sure once you're engated that you still are buying from an authorized um, wholesaler uh, for Burt's Bees. So, you know, that's a very good question and a good point. Now, Nike, I know, is safe to sell. Uh, they don't really come after IP claims, maybe claims uh, that something is fake but you will have a valid uh, receipt where you bought it from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Amazon doesn't take those receipts, but there, there are ways to fight those receipts by claiming that this is a national retail chain that you know is an authorized uh, distributor of these products. And sometimes Amazon, you do win your case when you word it that way. I'm not finding Tarte. Tarte, it's called Tarte. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I agree with Tina there. Just because you're ungated in something does not mean that they have given you permission to sell. So ungating, or I mean, that's like a completely different, completely different can of worms 
that we could talk about all day long. Um, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of if, ands, and buts, and whatnot to all of that. I'm trying to see if any of this, because I'm, I'm not seeing Amazon. And Tarte is, it, is a brand that is safer to sell, because I, I have bought and sold Tarte. And Tarte has their own website. And I've often thought, if I wanted to get ungated in uh, brands like Tarte and Benefit, um, all of these brands have their own own websites. And I would like to think that if you're buying it directly from the brand and your invoice is from the brand and their website, that that would be a pretty good way to get ungated. Um, to me, it would be worth a shot. Um, it's not like you're trying to submit an invoice from just a, a retail store. You're actually submitting an invoice from that brand. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you can do that with Tarte. You can do that with Lego. So I'm doing the same kind of like when we did Sierra. I just go price low to high. Uh, and oh, no, thank you. And copying, copying what it is and then coming over here. Uh, here, read, read that one. If here? you can. Yeah. yeah. Yes, she says, I believe at some point all of the brands will want to sell on Amazon and they will um, start doing IP claims. She has a friend, Nicole, who just got in trouble with uh, Bath and Body and Bath and Body Works has been coming down on quite a few people for, I think, their images. And um, yeah, it's the it's the images. I have to go change. Yeah. Change they're, images. Not, they're doing IP claims on it's their intellectual property right because that is their image from their website. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are not the owner of, and I did a vlog on this, but it hasn't come out yet. But if you are not the owner, you can do the DMCA and say that you're not the owner of, of the listing. And my friend won her case and got it off her account that way. So just FYI. The middleman said, I tried Kohl's on Gate, but they kept splitting my order, so I stopped using them. <laughs> and then and then the next comment is from Carolyn, and she says um, that Kohl's did work to ungate her for uh, Tart. So, you know, but that is a good point. The middleman picker is I've ordered things from Kohl's, not trying to get ungated, just massive Kohl orders. And, and I get the same, you know, you get two here and one here because they're coming from different uh, Kohl's stores across the nation. Yeah, that makes it another another like difficult to get, get things to go through correctly. And um, Dawn is apologizing for coming late and is asking about Carhartt. Um, I don't know if Carhartt is one of the brands that comes after people or not, um, but Carhartt is, I believe they're also sold at um, Sierra. Probably. I'm going to look at this really quick. Tart tartiest lip, lip gloss. Okay. okay. And I'm sorry. I don't know how to properly pronounce your name. I want to say Tykan. I mean, let me know if, if I'm saying it uh, incorrectly, but they say that tart.coms does not give you an invoice. Hmm. It's just a receipt and will not work. Okay. And then, but Carolyn said it did work for her. I, th I believe she said at Kohl's it did. I believe Carolyn said at Kohl's that her Kohl's okay. invoice worked, but Tykin is saying that tart.com doesn't give you an invoice. It's only a receipt. Now, I, you know, that doesn't mean that it won't work. It, it, you know, when you get your receipt or invoice um, from an online order and they've emailed it to you, sometimes it's a matter of how well you are um altering it legally. Now, I'm not talking about like changing verbiage on it, but making sure that you notate on, you know, print out your uh, receipt from Tarte's website and write on it or either do it for, for the, the, what do you call that, Lucy, that you use the PDF where you type it in so it looks a little neater. Annotate. And written, yeah. Annotating it with the ASIN that it belongs to. Um, 
And then sometimes I will further it by, you know, circling the amount that I paid, circling my name and address that matches my Amazon account. And I will go so far as to go into my Amazon business checking account where I purchased that item mm -hmm. and showing that portion of my bank statement that shows that it that payment that matches my invoice came from my business checking account. And sometimes that's all it takes and it does the trick. So sometimes it's about how well you annotate things and how well you present it to a Amazon. So that doesn't mean that it won't work and, and maybe it won't. You know, I'm not saying uh, <laughs> that I'm right and you're wrong, but sometimes you just got to try things a few different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Change it up every time you submit. Don't keep resubmitting the same one. They want to see a difference. And uh, Cynthia said that she got and gated um, from Carhartt.com directly. And sometimes that's better than I, I know Lucy says she likes Amazon to Amazon because it's a guarantee. I sometimes like it when it's from the company itself because I hopefully have found an item that I got engaged in that I'm also going to profit on. Because obviously if we're buying it from Amazon and flipping it back, a lot of times there's no profit in there. Right. And uh, Carolyn, when you said Tart question mark, it worked for me recently, but it did through Kohl's, right? Not through Tart's website. Um. Yeah, clarify that on... And she maybe did later down. I haven't got that far down yet. Okay, Sierra canceled my order to the prep center. Do you know them as reseller friendly? They, I don't know if they are or are not. Do you know? I know I, I've had one order with Sierra and it was terrible. I don't know. And I only tried a prep center once. It was a horrible experience, <laughs> but the only store that I knew of at that time was Target. So um, I'm not familiar with what stores shut people down for prep centers. I believe Lancome would be the same thing as ordering it direct from them. So let's see her makeup. I'm just doing lipstick. And, um, I can also says down later that they got approved for Victoria's Secret from <clears throat> Victoria's Secret's web, website. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty good way to do it. Now, you can also type in Lancome Wholesale and see if, if uh, anything comes up. Yes. And then Jackson, and, and I thought about this after I gave my answer too. So I'm glad that you said this. And I know that this is uh, referring to Kohl's, it, that it's okay if they split the order because you're right on your one invoice. It's going to say what your original order was, regardless of how many um, packages or however they split it up. And so if there's a few different invoices in your, in your account, uh, kind of like somebody had said earlier, you know, they bought several different styles because they were limited to three each, but it was 10 collectively. Um, so that's a, that's a good point, Jackson. Ordered from Sierra Marshall's TJ Maxx. My experience is good. Order a hundred and more items to one problem to one order. No problem. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with the actual order from Sierra, but I had ordered, um, Oh my goodness. I forget the name. I had an IP claim from it and I, I, it was just a pain in the tush and Amazon will not take a Sierra receipt for an IP claim. Just FYI. So you want to be careful on that. And then here we have, you mentioned just because you're engaged, doesn't mean you're approved to sell. When it comes to selling, should you get your 10 items from Amazon business or directly from the brand for invoicing, either one. Um, you can get it from either one. Um, like Lucy says, Amazon to Amazon, you know, if Amazon is the, the seller, it's a guaranteed, um, but you can get it uh, directly from the brand as well. Um, and, and yes, just because you're engaged, you are approved to sell it on Amazon, but that doesn't stop the brand from coming after you should they not be reseller friendly. But you can kind of tell if brands are or they are not by simply looking at the listings. If you see over and over that it's only Amazon and or the brand or Amazon and the brand are the only sellers, that's a good indication that they may come after you. 
if you're looking at certain brands and you see that uh, all their multiple listings, that there are many different resellers on them, you know, that they have five and 10 and 20, you know, and, and more, it is likely that they are not coming after resellers. So some of it's just kind of common sense. Okay. I'm tired of looking at that one. Let's see here. Boy. And uh, Marina says that she does order from Sierra Marshalls and TJ Maxx online, and her experience has been good in getting ungated. And she has ordered a hundred, um, hundred and more of items on a pro an order with no problems at all. So I mean, these things are good to know. The you know, for anybody watching, the, these comments are coming from your fellow uh, resellers and their experiences. And you know, it, while it may not be mine, you know, I. I can trust another seller if they said that it worked for them and, and be willing to try, be willing to try, you know, other options. Marina says, uh, oh, Cynthia says, Amazon is not accepting receipts from Walmart. For IP claims, Amazon is not accepting receipts. They used to. It just hasn't worked for like anybody in the last six months. So that's the other thing you got to take into account. I may say, oh, I got engaged with this, but it was two years ago. That's not, you know, it, it it's old information. It may yeah. still work. Things but it are may always not. changing with Amazon. Marina says, no, that she didn't mean for ungating. I'm sorry. Maybe you meant to your prep center because I know you use a prep center. So I, I now that I'm reading this reply, I'm assuming that's what you meant. <laughs> so forgive me, people watching who are now feverishly looking at TJ Maxx for undating. <laughs> I am trying to find a Skechers item that's cheap, cheaper. There, There's only five left in stocks, three. Yeah, just clicking around. That's that's what I'm doing over here, if, if you're wondering. Trying to find, um, and again, so on this one, you could order four of this one. And then if this required the same thing, order three of this one, that's a seven, and then order three of this one and and do it that way. But I, I'll try for another two seconds here and then, then have to give up. Or not give up, but move on to something else. You just got to keep poking around, poking around. You want to read that one? Yep. I'm ungated in groceries. However, I'm having a hard time trying to get ungated in Trader Joe's. If anyone knows how to get ungated in it. Yes, somebody asked a little earlier, maybe weren't on and that's perfectly fine. But Trader Joe's, um, you cannot use uh, their receipts or anything for ungating in Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is simply one of those that you just have to patiently wait to get auto ungated in a Trader Joe's listing. And that comes with um, the age of your account, your selling history, the health of your account. These are things that just take time. And you will find that you start getting auto ungated in many different things and brands over time. Boy. Skechers, you, I'm almost thinking you're going to have to to parse it out because it doesn't look like they keep more than three in stock of anything. I'm going to look for something with a better rank. Maybe that's the key that I'm missing. Everything there is over a million on the rank. And that's why their price so low because they want to get rid of them. So <laughs> Yeah, they're like, this stuff's old. We need to, to get, get out. You know, I have often wondered, you know, here in my city, and I'm sure in, in some of other people's cities, we have Skecher um, stores. It's it's nothing but Skecher. Now, of course, it's not an online store. It's you walk in store, so you would get a receipt. But uh, sometimes I've wondered, you know, could you get ungated with them somehow, somewhere? Maybe. Let's see. I mean, I don't know. I feel That's bad because a lot of these brands I've been um, in them for so long okay. and used to be easy. I mean, you guys, when I started selling on Amazon, I kid you not, the way that I got engaged in almost like all of the care categories like grocery, topical health and beauty is I would go to Target and I would buy the things in the little trial size, those little bins that where everything cost a dollar and I would get, and you only had to buy three of an item at that time. I'd buy three, you know, $1 Crest toothpaste and I got engaged. You know, Amazon gets harder and harder every year. Yep. 
So Skechers, these socks will work. Um, I had to go and start looking, narrowing it down with the rank because the, the higher rank ones, Amazon didn't have any in stock. So uh, let me just check here. Maybe this one will be similar because this is a little bit better now or stock issues. <laughs> they just don't. Okay. So many stock issues. Story of my life this week. Everything I want is out of stock out of stock. There we go. So you can get men's socks or little girl socks. And there you go for Skechers. And then I have, did we do Carhartt? Did we want to do Carhartt? I think that was the last one. Yeah. Carhartt's the last one that we did not do. I, we talked about Carhartt.com. Somebody said earlier uh, that they used and got un ungated. Okay. So Carhartt.com. And I think their uh, Sierra probably sells Carhartt. I mentioned that earlier. I know that Petco, the Petco here by my house has Carhartt dog uh, little jackets. And since we live in a hot, hot city, um, they're clearanced right now for $1 for dog Carhartt jackets. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can you go get me one for my dog? <laughs> I can. Yeah. She's um, probably either a small or a medium. If you buy both, I'll, I'll take both from you. For a whole dollar. Please. And Walmart still has their clothes for a dollar on clearance for those that want to uh, run into their Walmarts and scan with your Walmart app because, and I'm talking for personal use, um, shirts and shorts and things like that. It might say $16 on the tag or $8, um, but a lot of things are, um, they're scanning just one dollar and so Walmart will be doing their toy clearance um everything in june goes on clearance at, at all stores mm -hmm. and so this is a great month for doing um retail arbitrage target and walmart are notorious for marking down toys in the month of july every store honestly every store has great clearance in july barnes and noble has great clearance on toys they put them in those big bins inside of the barnes and noble stores mm -hmm. all the stores right now are gearing up to get halloween put in all the back to school items and so they're clearancing out um, all that toy section and I've gotten great stuff at Barnes and Noble in the past, but you'd have to go in store. The, the deals are better um, in store at Barnes and Nobles, but um, it's a great time, everybody, to go do retail arbitrage. All right. Here's Carhartt. We got some socks. I'll put that down, but you can probably go to their website and find some clearance stuff and find something better. It just depends what your goal is. Is your goal to make money or is it to get ungated as fast as possible? Because right. in the hour that we've been talking, we have found you how to ungate for Starbucks, Crayola, Yankee Candle, Burt's Bees, Ray Dunn, Victoria Secrets, Tarte, tar 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 <laughs> Lancome, Skechers, Carhartt. And, you know, so for those that are saying, oh, it's too hard or I can't find you should now be able to, to navigate and find something yes. that will work for you. And then you have to decide, do you want to get it fast and cheap or do you want to try and make a little bit of profit? Do you want to reuse them? Do you, what, what you do not want to do? Absolutely. Do not try and return these items to the store because that just screws it for the rest of us. That's, That's how right. stores get pissed off is if you buy 10, you get the on gate and then you go return it. Please don't do that. Yeah. Sell it on eBay. Group it up, make a two pack, sell it on Poshmark, Macari, whatever, give it out as gifts, something you eat it as a business cost because you needed to get ungated. And then you're going to reap the rewards, especially during Q4, because now you can sell all of this stuff and uh, don't don't go back to the store and, and be a douche. Yes, please. I've got to go, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Lucy, you can go ahead and close out, but we've got uh, family emergencies going on today. So I do have to go. Um, okay. Love you guys. Love everybody. Uh, good luck. Bye. And Message me later. Oh, boy. That was, boy, she's, uh, I hope everything is okay. I will talk to her later. Jackson says, unfortunately, it will get harder because people are being shady. I ordered some Kleenex the other day from Amazon and someone drop shipped it from Walmart. Yep. Exactly. There are people out there that are ruining, ruining things for the rest of us. And 
it just makes it makes it really, really hard. So unless we got any other questions or comments, I'm going to look over here. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and do a thumbs up. That helps out. Uh oh, there we go. Let's close that. If you have any com what did I just say? I just said comments, questions, ask me now because I too have got to get going. And I will probably be doing the Yankee Candle and gate because I have been wanting Yankee Candle for a while and I just not sat down and done it. And that one will be a good one to add to my repertoire for Q4 because I do come across good deals on Yankee Candles all the time. That's another thing that often drives who and what and where I get ungated for things is what do I actually find? Tycoon, how was my warehouse operation so far? Um, like I love the warehouse and I'm now settled in, the dust is settling and I need to make more money. So I am streamlining and uh, there's some good and there's some bad. Yesterday the internet went out. That's the second time the internet's gone out. That's super aggravating. My phone won't work in here. I can't make phone calls. That is really irritating. So I'm supposed to be getting this doodad from Sprint to enhance my signal and they're being stupid about sending it to me. So that's irritating. I tried to hire on somebody new and that did not work out and uh, trying to get cash flow, still having issues with like deliveries. I had somebody that told me they were going to deliver, but I didn't answer the phone. I'm like, you didn't call. You don't, don't feed me that line of BS. I, uh, I see all my calls and messages and you did not call. Wash hands. That's always good. Washing your hands. Overall, it's, it's a growth and there have been good days and bad days. And I have had a really bad week. Just this week, Monday, somebody tried to break into my RV at my house. My husband went out, saw a car speeding away, couldn't catch the plates. They broke the mirror on it. Super pissed off about that. I hate it when people try to rob me. I mean, who, who wants to be robbed? And then I had an IP claim from Bath and Body Works. So dealing with that fallout and uh, just, you know, I'm trying not to be negative and, and pissy about things, but it's been a rough week, to be honest. What about Vegas? Sunday, Sunday after the show, we will meet for drinks at the closest bar in the Westgate within walking distance. So you, you have to kind of walk a bit and it's near the front entrance. If you know where the Westgate is and you want to just drive over there and use the valet, it's really close to the valet part. So I don't know what time on Sunday. I'm going to guess around four. Four usually sounds pretty good. And uh, we just kind of hang out for an hour or two or however long we want and chit chat. And it's always fun to see everybody there. But I have my tickets and I have been, I have my ASD badge. So I think we're trying to think what else I need to do. My mom's having, my mom's having issues too. She had the car issue and now she's got to get her car fixed. And then we have two people in the, two people with medical issues down in, in Vegas. That's also just some family drama like. Like Tina, we all have family drama, right? All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and take off. Cynthia, thank you so much for the uh, the donation there. I really, really appreciate it. It really makes it worth my day to get on here and share information and help you guys out so that you guys can become better sellers as well. So thank you, thank you. Uh, ASD is free if you sign up now. I think it's $50 the day of if you don't pre-sign up. So go ahead and just go go sign up and then you get access to all of the vendors and you no, they don't mail you a badge. They get it, you get in the e you get an email that will have your badge ID. You bring that and then when you sign in, they they scan that and, and then print you out a badge. At least that's what they have. COVID kind of made some of that a little bit um, different. So that's I you get it in the email and then you bring that print out or show that barcode when you show up there. But yeah, it's free. So go ahead, go ahead and come on down. If you, if you can, if you're in the area, I know some people were complaining and saying that prices of flights were really outrageous, but when I booked and I'm just going from Seattle to Vegas, I could still get $129 flights, $99 flights. So I guess it depends on where you're going and how long and all of that good stuff. So, all right, just making sure that I'm catching up on the comments. Everybody, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Talk to you later.